Welcome back. Okay, so what we're going to do is focus on creating the next step in our pipeline, and that is to erode the terrain. All right, so we're going to do this in a separate HDA just to kind of prove the point or understand more of the idea behind PDG and creating your pipeline with top networks. All righty, so let's jump up and out of our top network here, and let's jump back into our SOP level HDAs. And what I want to do now is I want to create the uh, HDA that handles everything that is you know, related to erosion and slumping and stuff like that. So let's drop down a file node so we can get access to the uh, output. So I want to come up here and say at uh, PDG dash or underscore output like so. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to be able to test, you know, at this at this phase in the pipeline, at this step, I want to be able to work with the current data that's coming out of the current step in the, my top network. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, definitely, you know, let me know, ask me questions, stuff like that. I'm more than happy to answer as fast as I can. So let's drop down a subnet now, like so. And let's feed in the result of this file node into that first input there. Uh, and the reason why I want to do that is because when I go and create a digital asset out of this, and let's actually give it a proper name, let's call this IP Road Terrain, like so. Okay, I'm going to right click on this guy and turn it into a digital asset like so all right so then we also need to make sure that we put it into our project folder so I'm going to put it into my HDA folder so everything is located in the same location hit accept and now we can go and start to add some parameters if need be but the cool thing is that when we did that with the file node already hooked in Houdini recognized that and automatically set our maximum input maximum input minimum and maximum inputs to one and our maximum output to one all right which you don't necessarily need but it's it also doesn't hurt it either so cool so there we go we now have our hda created so let's start to work with the erosion now i'm going to obviously keep all this really basic because we're just really stubbing in the steps of our pipeline here so i'm going to go and double click on this guy and we are going to drop down an erode node like so and I'll just run some really basic erosion on this. All right. Cool. So here we go. I am going to set this to something like 10. And then I'm going to drop down our time shift node so I can control the amount of frames. There we go. Time shift. So I can control the amount of frames independent of our timeline. And this is, you know, great for when working with erosion inside of the Houdini engine. So let's decouple this by holding down control and shift and clicking on the label up here and i'm just going to set this to something like 10. there we go and you'll notice that that right off the bat will kick off the cook for the erosion so once this erosion pass is done i will be right back all right so we finished our erosion so we're all good let's actually go up to the erosion node and turn off the visualization i don't need any of that stuff all right so you know not the best erosion in the world but all we need is to get something up and running for our tests. All right, cool. So let's go in and add a slump too. I always like to do that. And what I'm going to do is drop down a feature node. So we're going to mask by feature. There we go. Cool. And I'm going to wire those guys in there like that and wire that guy in there. So for our feature node, what I want to do is I'm going to go and hide all other objects so I can see my mask appropriately and I want to go and select you know something like this based on slope here I just want to slump some of this stuff here all right so we'll just feed that into the slump node and it'll use that mask basically to move a bunch of debris down to the bottoms very cool all right so you start to get much more natural looking terrain with this especially when you do it a couple times but I'm just going to leave it just on a single for now, because I really just want to get this whole system basically stubbed in so we can start testing out the PDG network inside of Unity. So I'm going to say out erosion. And there we go. All right. Should probably clear the mask too. Not necessary, but uh, just for, you know, completeness. So let's do mask clear here. There we go. Yeah, much better. So you can see it's starting to pile up, you know, some dirt down in these crevices here. So very, very useful node. Uh, like I said, uh, I usually run a 
few passes on that stuff. So let's jump up and out and we're going to right click and say save node. All right. And we are going to go jump back into our PDG landscape HDA that has the top network in it. And I'm going to create another HDA processor. So this time I'm just going to pull it from the history here. And we are going to wire this guy in there like that and wire that into the pipeline end. And let's call this uh, terrain erosion. Awesome. And I'm also going to set the final flag here. So this is the final cook node or the final cook output. All right, so we really just need to do the same process now. So let's go and find our HDA and that's in our project here. So we wanna get the erode terrain HDA, very cool. And now you'll notice that the HDA parameters hasn't actually shown itself and that's because we haven't exposed anything yet. So let's go and do that really quick. So let's go and add, I don't know, like our frames or something like that. So let's go to our time shift node and drag and drop out the frames. This way we have control over the erosion time. All right, cool. Let's just say we have zero erosion for the range or maybe up to something like 50 and let the user decide. But we'll keep our default right here to 10. All right, so let's hit apply and accept. Very cool. And then we just need to save our node. That way we get the changes inside of our top network. All right, so let's say update HDA parameters, and there you go. So now you get your HDA parameters exposed. Very cool. So now we can add that to our HDA parameters up here. So I'm going to drag out a new folder and call this erosion, like so, and then drag and drop the erosion time slider into that folder and hit apply and accept. So now it's hooked up. Cool. All right, so that is that. We are good to go. So one thing that we need to turn on, because this particular SOP HDA is requiring an input, okay? What we need to do to make this work in PDG is to make sure we turn on this create file SOP inputs. And we only need one input, so we just have to keep just one input in there. If we had two, we, had, we would have to put in two. All right. And then we could always, you know, rename the output file name, but I'm going to leave it at the default just so you guys can see how PDG works, you know, right out the box. All right, we're not going to do that much customization just yet. All right, so with that, we are good to go. So let's go and cook this node. So the hotkey on the keyboard is Shift V. So hit Shift and V as in Vine. And there you go. So what it'll do is it'll cook the whole network for us here. And I'll be right back when it's done. All right, so we finished up. So let's take a look at some of the stats here. So I'm going to double click the work item here, little dot, and wait for the information to come up. And you can see it took about 60 seconds for that to cook. And we brought in the input from our terrain generator and we output our terrain erosion. So everything's working great. And if we go and check out our PDG dir, so let's turn that off. You can see that our PDG viz, sorry, um, is displaying our eroded terrain now, all right? Because that's the current output that we have selected. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so with that, we are now good to go for the next lecture. So what we're going to do in the next lecture is focus on getting uh, some terrain layers generated and getting this hooked up so that way when the terrain actually gets output inside of Unity, it comes with all of its terrain, terrain layers and um, its splat maps and... You know some textures already assigned okay thanks so much